Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So you're not gonna believe I need to seriously zoom out. I'm like, oh, I'm the wrong way. Okay, that'll do. So, it turns out that me, Nicola, wants a handbag. Nicola with a glass of wine inside of her on payday does not go down very well. So I decided that in all my handbags that I own, I did not own a going out bag. Like I went out uh, the other evening um, and all I had was my Michael Kors bag. And as much as I love my Michael Kors bag, it's not a going out bag. I want a little black clutch bag. So lo and behold, you'll never guess where I headed. You know exactly where I headed because it's on the title of the video, but I headed straight to the Kate Spade's website. I am obsessed with Kate Spade. Of course, I had to have a new handbag and it's arrived and I'm gonna open this bad boy just for you because I'm so excited. Okay, right, we're gonna go for it. So the first thing I love, although I love it, but I kind of don't, this is the inside of the box, okay? This green wrapper, I know exactly what it is, but it kind of reminds me of those sweetie bags that you get at parties and things like that. You know, remember years ago, I used to go get like a 10p mix that you can't get anymore because you can't do a 10p mix. I have just missed my mouth having a drink. Let's get it out. Save the box for rubbish. I, of course, have my invoice and my returns label. <laughs> Right, okay, so when Nicola gets drunk, she decides that <laughs> she wants a card because you can have it, not gift wrap as such, but you can have a little message. So I had to me a happy late birthday, love from your Miss Euro. Now, <laughs> the reason why I had that was one, because I was drunk and two, because I just actually changed some of my Euros back into English money. So I was like, oh, I had some money and then with it being paid, I was like, I'm having a new bag. So yeah, don't ask. There's something wrong with. Okay, shall we? Uh... I really want to fold this up nice and neatly, but uh, it is just going in there, so let's not. Okay, and then it's got a load more. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. So it, it has the little tag on. I think it's, I'm unsure on how you say this, it's S-H-R-E-Y-A, so Shira maybe, I'm not too sure. This is a black and it is from, once again, the Cameron Street collection. I love the Cameron Street collection. I love, I don't know, I just, I love it. So there it is, the original price is 175 euros or 140 pounds and that is the retail price and I believe I got it for 99 pounds. So I did save myself a nice tidy 41. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I know it's a handbag. I know I'm an idiot. I know, I know, I know. You don't need to tell me. It's okay. I'm on that. Now, what I love most about the Cameron Street collection is the logo, how it goes on. It was the first ever diary I bought was the Cameron Street one, and it had that design on it. It went from the um it was like a little leather pad with the name imprinted on, but no, I went to this. So, I'm going to get some scissors, because let's be realistic, I ain't returning this. Snip, it's gone. Definitely can't return it, oh no. Oh no, right, okay. Now what I love about this, this is a clutch bag, but it does come with a full body strap. This I am going to peel off. Oh, it's just so pretty, I love it. Okay, you know what? How did this fit in that box when I can barely fit the packaging back in? Okay, so it does come with a full body strap. Now, you chuck it straight over your head, let me stand up, and it lands. Oh, I can't even do it because I'm not tall enough, my camera's high. Okay, so it has these little gold detailings on the side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I know, I know. Okay, let me get rid of this cardboard. <sighs> she smells so new. Okay, and inside we have, let's pull this cardboard out. Now, the only thing I was disappointed with on the website is usually on Kate Spade's website, so they show you what they you, you can put in them, basically, and this one didn't, so I did have to get all the measurements and everything else. Let's pull this out. So. 
I've built here. Okay. So, you have some beads that we don't want. Oh, the care card that I never read. Okay. So, we have two teeny tiny pockets for cards right at the very front. Literally there. Look, I don't know if you see that. And then inside, see, it's that, it's that line. I love the stripes. And there's also a card slot at the back. Now, my phone... It has a back, it has a back on it, but that fits easily in there. Um, one second. <laughs> so I just want to quickly show you what you can put in. So I um, actually suffer really badly with asthma, and I don't suffer really badly, but I like to take my inhaler out with me. So just let me stand. I'm actually going to take this off my phone, the back, because not everyone carries those. Um, hand cream. There's still loads of room in there for keys, um, maybe not a big bunch of keys and a lippy, but that was just to give you the general idea. It's quite slim, but yeah. I'm going to pull my phone back out. Chuck them on the bed, no one cares, no one cares. Okay. And then this. This is what I fell in love with it for. Does that just pull off? Let me, hold on. She will work this out. Okay. Pull. Then you pull the other side. So I've just pulled this off, and then you pull this side off. Take the packaging off first. Okay, you see this? Just there a lot. And then you pull. Do you pull it off? I'm so confused at what's happening in my life right now. Yes! Oh, it's just because it's new. Okay, so you pull these two off. That was very safe and sturdy, might I just add. And there you have your little black, beautiful clutch bag for when you go, Oh, you know what the strap? And that's what I loved about it because I saw the Hope. But the Hope had the handle and the strap. So I'd have to have the handle constantly. I was like, but if you're going out somewhere nice, I have the perfect little black bag and I, I love it so much. Okay, yeah, there's the handle. Um, and obviously to put it back on, it doesn't matter which way it goes on either, I don't think. All you have to do, just let me stand up to get this on camera. So all you do is literally just slot it through. Yes, it's tight it's new. Pull it across and then I'm trying to show you this, but I can't without actually breaking my fingernails. Oh, it's so tough, that's not a bad thing. Oh, good God. It's not a bad thing, because it means your handbag can fall to bits halfway through the night. There we go. Okay, it does take a bit of brute force, but as I say, that's really good, because if you're going out for the night, the last thing you want is for somebody to pull it and for it to just fall straight off. It's hard because I can't get the fingers right. There you go. I hope I got that on camera. So you just pushed over the button. And there you have it. We're back to the strap. <gasps> I love it. Oh, you guys know me by now. I love anything Kate Spade. Like seriously, how cute is this bag, right? I know. So obviously it's not a big bag. It is literally just a clutch bag um, for going out with. It will hold your phone maybe one door key <laughs> and obviously a lippy some hand cream and inhaler and that's your lot basically maybe a set of glasses if you need glasses but yes it is a perfect little clutch bag for the perfect little black dress or anything like that i mean if i went a black dress i'll have a colorful handbag so maybe i'll need another one who knows but yeah i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing i'm sorry i get super excited i know but i am a child at heart and i love kate spade like love kate spade so yeah i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video, i'm trying to actually just tuck the handle in because that's how i'm going to store it downstairs i'm like folding the handle back up which i'm a little bit sad about because i don't want it to keep bending but anyway I'm just going to shut up now because I'm rambling on. Tuck it into the... And that is how I will store it. I absolutely love it.
like a child at Christmas, I know, I know, I know. But yes, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing video. If you did enjoy this unboxing video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you've made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I upload, on average, three times a week. More crazy videos coming your way. I know, I know. Click over in the top corner, check out one of my latest videos and click over in the bottom corner to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. And bye-bye.